again, we are back in the Green Hair Mud uh, video studio for our second installment. This one is going to be about application. So in our first video, we learned to mix our Green Hair Mud powder to a pancake batter-like consistency. And now we are going to do a simple application. So you want to make sure that you're wearing something black, preferably something that buttons or opens down the front so that you can take it off before you go shower or unless you're going to be turning upside down in the sink. So we have shampooed our client's hair or our hair squeaky clean. That means no conditioner in the shampoo. That means no conditioner after the shampoo. So yes, it makes it a little tougher um, to comb out but it is well worth the effort. There is no chemicals in green hair mud to blast through scalp oils or old styling products. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've parted out the hair so that we have some clean lines for application. So after detangling, we're going to simply, there we go, I'll put it this way so that you can see. All right, so we're going to start roughly like this on a part, okay? So we're going to make sure and wear our gloves because it does stain. Fingernails are made out of the same thing as hair, keratin. So we are going to use our gloves, our mixed product, and then we're going to start, just like you would for a root touch-up, I'm going to go around the hairline. It is messy, but it's okay. It's not going to hurt you. And then part with the tail of the comb. Flip the section. Painting in at the roots. And continue to section and apply the color with the brush. until you have covered the entire scalp area and make sure you get extra coverage around the hairline because you don't want um, you don't want it to dry out during processing so you want it a little bit thicker around the, the hairline as you can see the mixture is not watery but it is certainly to where that it can drip off the brush like pancake batter. So we're going to continue sectioning. So after I have completed the entire head, what I would do is go back through and apply color to the shaft on an original color or a virgin color. That would be hair that had not been previously colored. If I already have color on my hair and I just want to touch up the roots, then I'm going to stop at this um, process to where that I've just got a nice coverage at the roots. Then we're going to take our, now of course I don't want to bore you with watching me put mud on her entire head. So we're going to take the cotton foil next and we're going to put it along the hairline. We don't want to wipe the color back, but we do want to make sure. Where did I put my water bottle? Um, <laughs> one moment. Uh, we're going to put the, thank you, mystery assistant from the side. Uh, we're going to put the cotton coil around the edges of the hair. The two tails, I like to tuck behind the ear because there's this little crevice that tends to like to leap there. So we will tuck that around here. Now we wet the cotton coil so that the edges don't dry out. Remember, there's no jellifiers, there's no wetting agents in the product. So we've got to make sure that it stays nice and wet around the edges so that we get good gray coverage or good color um, adhesion to the hair at the root level. And that's also why you want to make sure that it's squeaky clean because the scalp oils will just slick the color off like water off a duck's back. So after we have this completely coated throughout the entire hair for either a root touch up or coloring 
the full shaft of the hair for an entire original or virgin color. We're going to gather it into a processing bag. This is essential because the color can't dry out during processing. So we're going to put her into the cap. Make sure that you don't push the color away from the hair when you do this. And then you can process under a little dryer. My assistant will get the little um, travel dryer that I use. And for instance, this easily obtainable. It has the, we'll break it out here. It has the little blow up um, pussy cap and a hose that, uh, oh, here it is, ta-da. And so this is an excellent way. <laughs> Amateur video. Um, this is an excellent way to be able to, there we go, to process with heat. Okay, so hopefully that will give you a good idea of how it's done for how to apply the product properly and a great way to process it. So on checking it, you want to know, is it there yet? Are we there yet? Okay, so we're going to take the bag back. We're going to drop the cotton. We're going to take the corner of one of our arc color towels, old towels, wet it, and then just wipe back a little section of color. Bounce it forward and get in a really good light so you can see, is this the color I want? Have I got the coverage I want? If it is, then it's time to go rinse. Rinse, rinse, rinse very well. It helps the color come out more easily. And then a light shampoo conditioner then is fine. And you're finished, ready to go. If it's not quite there, then you just want to put a little of your leftover color back in that spot. Recover the edges and continue to process until you achieve your desired color. So that wraps it up for our second video. Um, maybe we'll be a little smoother next time, but uh, you know, that's reality. So. Um, green Hair Mud, 100% pure plant color application process. Thanks for watching and let us know if you like the video.